We're going. Didn't know we were going. Okay, we are going to try this Ed Puzzle one more time, and I have to remake this video. So hopefully, it's not too annoying that you have to rewatch it, and hopefully, I get the same questions in that I did in the first video. Okay, so this is um, our first story problem for the year, and it when we have story problems like this, our very first thing that we have to do is read it. Okay, so we're going to read it all the way through and then we're going to do something and then we're going to underline something. And I'm going to ask you what you think we should underline, but I'm going to read through it first. Okay. These two paintings are in the school art contest. Which painting has more votes? Use a picture or model to show that you are correct. Painting A has 467 votes. Painting B has 463 votes. So my question to you is, what information from this story problem do you think we should underline first? So what we underline first is actually going to be, what is the question asking? What is the story problem asking? What are we supposed to find? So. As we read through it, that's what we need to be thinking. What is the question asking? What is the story problem asking? So let's read it again. These two paintings are in the school art contest. Which painting has more votes? That is our question right there. Which painting has more votes? Okay. So next, we're going to highlight the important information that goes with the question, okay? So we have to highlight the important information that goes with the question. Now, out of all of this information, what is the important information that's going to go with the question? So the important information is, in fact, the amount of votes. So painting A has 467 votes. Painting B has 463 votes. Now there's one more part to the story problem that we have to pay attention to. And I'm gonna underline it with my highlighter just to show that it's something that we need to pay attention to. Um, and it's equally important. So what we need to pay attention to is this part right here. It says use a picture or model to show that you are correct. Okay, so we do have to answer this, which painting has more votes, but you can't just write painting A or painting B. You have to use a picture or model to show that you are correct. Okay, so the model that I'm going to use for this is going to be a place value model, okay, a place value chart. So I'm going to draw lines like this, okay, and this is going to be our ones place, and our tens, and our hundreds. We don't need to fill in over here because both of these stop at the hundreds. We are going to separate these. Okay, this row is for paint <laughs> for painting A. This row is for painting B. Yeah. So painting A, painting A has 467 votes. Painting B has 463 votes. Okay. So this is our model. But now we still haven't answered the question. 
Now, which place value am I going to look at first in order to decide which number is larger? Am I going to start in the hundreds or in the ones? Okay, so we're going to look to the hundreds place first because this is the largest place value in these numbers. So we're gonna compare them. Okay, four and four is the same. So then we're gonna go to our next place value. Six and six are the same. Ooh, man, these numbers are the same. So then we go to the next place value, seven and three. Well, which number is larger? Seven is larger. So which painting had more votes? Painting A has more votes. And you would write it like this. You would say 467 is greater than, and then we'll just put that in a circle so we know it's different, 463. Okay. 